Hi loves, thanks for tuning in to CYB TV. This is Cherish and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my toddler's four year old birthday party. I'm super excited. I did the cake, some desserts. I'm also gonna show you guys how I do like the decorations that are cost effective and won't break the bank. So if you wanna see how I do this, then definitely keep on watching. You deserve to be the best you. I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Alrighty, so you guys, this is the finished product of the cake. Um, we're gonna start with doing this first, but yeah, and just appreciate how this eventually turned out i'm going to show you guys the ins and the outs but also i'm going to show you everything that i got to do the cake okay so i got my frosting i did the vanilla because i'm going to do the color uh frostings i got the food coloring you know the pans the platter the cake mix yellow and chocolate cake and then for the decorations i got the wooden letters for my son's name i got some glitter because i wanted to like be a little flashy and then also I got like the table covers, I got uh, candles, what else, cups, plates, and all the other little things that I felt like you're going to need for the cake decorating and some balloons and also the table setup, okay? Balloons, husband blew those up, thank you. Uh, and, um, you know, little cake toppers. My son wanted a monster truck theme Hot Wheel party slash cake and stuff so that's what i had in mind when getting this stuff so yeah the little party bags the little brushes for the cake decorating you know all the things that you feel like you would need um that's what you will get and i got this stuff from like the dollar stores you guys the family dollar um the regular dollar store 99 cent store at those places okay so um this is my second son alzario yeah he's so cute but let's go ahead and do this letters first because the letters are going to need time to dry so that's what i'm doing now before i get to the cake situation so i used one bottle of this gold glitter i actually asked my son which one do you want the gold or the blue and he picked gold because he knows his mama or he knows you know we got the same taste kind of so i'm using the gold glitter for the letters if you want it to be like <laughs> a lot i guess do two bottles i only had one bottle and it all ended up working out though so i did the first coat and then later on i did the second coat as i was like waiting for the cakes and stuff to finish which i don't show that part but yeah just know i did two coats so this is the first coat Audi has actually helped me a little bit, which was cool. I was like, yeah, you can help. So now um, I'm going on to the cake, you guys. So you get your bowls, you get all that stuff laid out. I'm using a yellow and a chocolate cake, okay? Because I wanted to do like the marble look, the marble vibes. First time doing that. Uh, so yes, <laughs> yellow and a chocolate cake. And now I'm just going to go in and add the ingredients. I just looked off the box. I mean, I'm not like a baker baker, so I don't do like cakes from scratch or anything box is just fine trust me uh so yeah that's what i'm doing adding all these good ingredients and the water oil you know eggs now i'm blending it with this hand electric blender <laughs> speeds up the time and i'm i'm speeding through everything y'all to be honest because it would be super long but yeah now it's time to oil up the pans i just put it on a paper towel and then just put it all through the pan or you can use the spray in and then i'm adding in my flour and the flour is what's going to keep your cake from sticking because that would just ruin it i'm telling you i'm doing this last minute 
early in the morning and yeah so no time to mess up the secret ingredient that i just added into the cake batter you guys is the mayonnaise yes mayonnaise if you haven't tried it makes your cake super moist and it's just it's good it's a game changer so now i'm just adding in the cake batters um the yellow and then the chocolate and then i'm going to do this little swirly thing with the spoon i don't even know if that makes a difference but we're just going to go ahead and roll with it um so yeah that's what i'm doing layering the yellow and the chocolate cake for that swirly effect Now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven on 325 and move on to the second batch of cake mix, one yellow, one chocolate. So I got four boxes of cake mix and adding in my little special ingredient, the mayonnaise, y'all. Oh yeah, so good. And now we're just gonna put the cake mix into these little four little pans. I'm just spraying it with the oil and then adding in my flour and making sure these cakes won't stick. Same thing, just doing the little swirly effect for these little ones as well. The yellow chocolate, I'm using the spoon. <laughs> I don't know, I felt like I was really doing something, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, this is the first time trying this and yeah, everything pretty much went kind of smoothly. So I popped those into the oven and I wasn't even planning on doing cupcakes, but because I had some more cake mix left, I was like, uh, I need to make cupcakes. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm putting the little paper in there and um, I just added the both cake mixes together so yeah and now let's move on to the coloring of the icing um, but yeah I had to check to make sure those were done and they are so moving on to the uh, icing I'm just using the vanilla uh, and we're just going to make the different colors for me I was set on like a yellow, bluish, you know, all the different colors like Hot Wheel colors and kid colors. So the yellow cake um, and then the blue cake and then also the flame color. So this is the flame color that we're about to mix up. So I just eyeballed it. I didn't have any particular numbers of drops or anything. I was just doing it until I felt like, okay, that's the color I'm going for. Now, um... After that, I'm going to make sure the cakes are all good and not getting burnt. <laughs> and now moving on to the blue color, um, just put the blue dye in there and just mixing it all together. So yeah. Now y'all, um, make sure the cakes are super cool down. Um, these are a little warm still, but you want to make sure they're really um, cooled down before you put the icing on because as you can see um the icing is just kind of melting off but it is what it is so i'm gonna put the second um cake on top and then i'm gonna put the stick inside to hold the cakes together so they won't slide and now i'm gonna go ahead and use this yellow icing to you know cover the whole cakes and as you can see like i said the frosting is kind of falling off so i'm just scraping it up and then putting the rest in the bowl for um, later and yeah so you want to make it as smooth as possible uh, of course if you had some fonda I mean hey I'm gonna get there y'all I'm gonna get there but yeah <laughs> this is my first time doing a theme cake and I don't know I just I'm so glad I challenged myself with it so right now I'm just using the orangish reddish color for the flames I actually saw a picture of a Hot Wheel cake um, when I was like looking up different cakes and stuff to get ideas of how I want to do my sons. And yeah, I saw the flames. Their flames were different, but I was like, I can just draw flames on there. So it turned out pretty good. So now I'm just cutting off the top of these little cakes for the top of the um, cake design. You know, these are the little cakes. So I just cut the tops off of them and then place it on top of the bigger cakes. And now I'm coloring those blue. And don't worry, you guys, it's going to look messy. The platter is going to get all messy, but you're going to clean that up later. So I'm icing the smaller cakes with the blue, and I do three. Yeah, I use three of those small cakes. I made four, but I end up using only three of them. So that's the third one. And now I'm just going in to um create these little flames i know it looks crazy y'all i know the cake looks <laughs> 
crazy right now, but I'm telling you, you guys already saw the finished product. I mean, this is just the the process. So now after that, you're gonna clean up the platter. So I'm cleaning up the platter right now, y'all. Um, and if you mess up, just make sure the front side of the cake is the best looking. <laughs> Now I took time to use this little chalk marker and make these little uh, flags that's going to go on top of the cake. I'm going to fix that little part right there with the icing. And now I'm using the chocolate fudge frosting. And this is going to go into a piping bag because this stage actually um, brought the cake together in my opinion. I felt like this is what brings it together and makes it a lot more polished looking and just more decorative. and professional i think so yeah i didn't put the little thing at the tip of the piping bag because i don't even know how to put that on uh, so i just cut the tip and now i'm just going around the cake and piping in and yeah super easy and there you go you guys that's how it's looking and now i went on and printed off this little monster truck thing looking i don't know sign so um i wanted to you know put that as a cake topper but as i was looking at it y'all i was like mm, i don't know i liked it at first because i had to go on and finish the cake because my phone died but yeah this is the finished process product of the cake i put the little sticker letters with his name i put all the little decorations i had those little cars that i had bought they're they're brand new then they weren't used and yeah and i put some little uh oreo topping crumbs on there for dirt and then i was like "Ooh, i actually like this better so i printed that out and i felt like it was going to go better and i made that little first place sign and there you go i ended up just changing it a little bit but this is the finished product of the cake you guys super easy you can decorate it however you want I felt like this just all worked out, came together. I was super excited about that. So now I'm moving on to the cupcakes. So with the cupcakes, I just had the extra frosting and I just put it all together in a piping bag and used that for the topping and made a little swirly little design. And it all worked out. I was just like, man, I had seven hours until his um, birthday party, you guys. And I just was, excited that everything turned out pretty good um now i'm moving on to the, like the little table decorating now the table decoration is good i didn't want to have something big and extravagant because you know um i was just like that's just too much and it wasn't really really planned ahead of time but i had my brother and my sister-in-law visiting and my um son's little cousins visiting so i was like let's just do like a smaller um gathering so yeah now i'm adding the the balloons and the balloons i'm just adding it to the string one by one until i get like a cluster of balloons and this is the finished product you guys you see the table set up the cake is the main center the audi is right there in the gold letters and yeah everything pretty much came together i just got um you know the cups the plates the little hot wheel cars and the little goodie bags and everything and as you can see the cluster of balloons and right now we're just singing happy birthday to my son. It was a good turnout. I'm super glad that I did this. So if I gave you guys any ideas to just go ahead and try to be creative yourself and do what you can on a budget, then definitely thumbs this video up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll definitely catch you guys in my next video. Woo! Thanks for watching.